Countess Battery, you are under arrest. The accomplices have confessed to all of the murders. The girls were bled to death in the cage. Ajibit's servant's confessions were made under torture. The Countess herself was absent from her own trial. It was decided to hide her uncontainable madness, and thus to protect her name. Death by strangulation is what the shrews deserve. No! No! As for that creature, decapitation. Come here, Bartry is condemned to be walled up inside her bedroom for life. A small opening will be left to provide food and water. No mirrors will be left in the room in order to punish the Countess for her vanity. Many witnesses have testified to the murders and the atrocities committed by the Countess and her accomplices. Bodies were found around Codice Castle, some of them partially eaten by the Countess. Also found were the journals written by Countess Battery herself, documenting the murders in detail, as well as letters from Davulia the witch, heretical books, and finally the cage she tortured the girls in. Even if it seems the Countess may not have practiced witchcraft, we do have one witness who has confirmed that he saw her copulating with the devil himself. All evidence will be destroyed per the decision of Count Turzo in order to keep the Countess's name as untainted as possible. By signing this document, the Countess bequeaths all her possessions to Count Georgi Turzo. Codice will be ceded to her children. The King is now cleared of any debts to the Bartery Nodashi family. Now, if the devil allows you to, sign this. You have orchestrated this masterfully, I must say. You have murdered innocent women. Hundreds. Lies. How many innocents have been sacrificed in your pursuit of wealth? Your obduracy and persistence in denying the truth only confirms that you are now bereft of reason. Unfortunately not. I will go to my grave completely sane. <laughs> your tale merely confirms that women are mad and vain and should not be given the right to rule. Your fable will keep the populace occupied for a very long time. They will be terrified of the bloodthirsty myth that you have made of me, and forget about evils that are indeed very real. but if it was not for me, you would have been burnt at the stake. My gratitude for sparing me a quick death. And if it were not for you, I would have never felt love. Is it not strange to think, as I stand here today, sentenced to die alone, so many lovers are warm in each other's arms? Proceed.
installment. I cannot be humiliated this way. Give me an illness that will kill me fast. I cannot do it myself. I must go to heaven. Amen. God, perhaps you are trying my faith. Perhaps you are punishing me because I loved him more than I love you. Man has created God in his image, which gives him dominance over everything else. Birds, lions, trees, and women. I wish I had been born a man. I would have killed thousands in battle, taken over countries, burned witches. I would have been a hero. That is it. You're nothing but a myth. The Greeks created gods for everything because they could not figure out why the sea, why love, why death. Now we have created you to appease and feed our fears and ignorance because we have so many questions and so few answers. I have used you in prayers to forgive myself for my horrible sins. A proper burial or feeding the wolves is the same thing. Holy water is just dirty water. Why am I so scared to die? Because I do not believe in you or in the eternity of the soul. When I die, I shall rot. Nothing will be left of me. Love is the dagger that stabbed me in the back. If you're not a myth, absolve me of my sins and give me blood to keep me young. <laughs>